Have you ever seen a film that has changed your view in films forever? I think I've just seen a film that will do exactly that. My Life as a Courgette, or My Life as a Zucchini, which its title is in North America and Australia, is an excellent film. Before I talk on how the movie has changed my vision in films, I will just talk about the movie first. So the movie is about this boy called Zucchini, well that's his nickname, or Courgette, depending on which region you're in, who becomes an orphan after a very sad and tragic event, and then he goes to live in an orphanage and builds a special connection with the orphans there. Now. I just want to say one thing in this film, the animation is absolutely amazing. The stop motion animation was excellent, absolutely amazing. I know that computer animation can do a lot, but I don't think any amount of computer trickery could do what these filmmakers achieved with this film. The animation was excellent, it perfectly suited the movie. Computer animation would not have suited this movie, nor would have handled. The only medium that would have was stop motion. And it worked really well. It was just a stop motion film. It looked excellent. It wasn't overloaded with CGI. It was just a stop motion film. And it was excellent. The character design as well. It blows me away. The characters were designed absolutely perfectly. They fit their descriptions. It is seriously some of the best character design I have ever seen in an animated film. Seriously. And the writing. The writing just blows me away. It was absolutely amazing. I mean, how did the story writers write a film that good? I don't know. And the direction of the film. The director, Claude Barras, did an amazing job. And it was his first feature. Good job. I want to see him making more movies. He hasn't made any more features yet, but I'd like to see him making more. I'd definitely see it if he made another one. This film is absolutely excellent. Character development, excellent. Voice work was pretty good as well. Children will understand this movie perfectly. Yes, it is not for very young children, but still, older children will really like this movie. It's got a lot of good messages, and it deals with a topic that is hard to introduce to children. It really is a hard topic to introduce to children, and one that children won't want to hear about. But this film delivers that topic excellently. I can't imagine any other film delivering it better. I don't know how you would deliver it better, because it was amazing that they dealt with a sad topic just so, so, so well. Good job, story writers. The story writers blowed me away. It was absolutely amazing story writing. Now, there are a few quiet moments in this movie where there could have been a bit more action in it, but I'm going to let that go because we need some time to just think about what's happening. They need some emotional time. So I'm not going to get fussy on this one. I'm going to mostly let it go. Although I would have liked a bit more action at points. I think this film is going to change my perspective on films for good. I did say that at the start of the review, and so I'm going to talk about it now. So, Back to the Future made me think about set decorators and how they're really important things and they're really underrated. They've got a big job and they can do a lot of things and they can do it really, really well. They just need to work with the production designer and do it excellently. And that's what they did in Back to the Future. Seriously. How did it not get an Oscar nomination for Best Production Design? The production design was amazing. Elvis also had amazing production design. I mean, it blows me away to think that that movie was shot in Queensland. It did not even look like Queensland. It looked like America. And yet the production design was so good, I would have believed it was America if nobody had told me. I would have believed that it was America if I hadn't read anything online saying it was in Australia, which I had. That was how good the production design was in those movies. And that's what's made me think, production design is really important. Now, how did this film change me? This movie has made me see the importance of visual storytelling. How visual storytelling can tell so much. And this movie will make me think of movies as art forms. It will change my perspective of movies. M movies truly are works of art. They are absolutely amazing. They can be at least. Some movies are, some aren't. But anyway, the art forms in this movie are excellent. With good directing, good editing, good cinematography, good visuals, and good music, and good character expressions, movies can work excellently. 
This is honestly a beautiful work of art, this scene, and it was so well told. I'm serious. It will make me think of movies as an art form because of that scene in that movie. That scene is going to change my view of movies in an excellent way. And there were points in this movie where the movie did feel a little weird. But however, it was excellent. Go check this one out. It was amazing. Seriously, I'm going away, but I'm going to give My Life as a Zucchini an A. Seriously, guys, check this one out. This is an indie film, and it was amazing. It just shows how there are indie films in the world that are amazing, even better than most major films. Seriously, this is one of the best animated films ever made. Go and check this one out. Also, I'm starting my Crystallized Reporters channel. Well, I've already started it. You can check that one out. The link is in the description once again. Feel free to check it out and watch the videos. I'm the Pop Culture Reporter for it. And I'll make more videos soon. Thank you so much for viewing my videos, guys. It really means a lot to me that I get just so many views. Really. I'm really happy by this. I love making YouTube videos. I'm filming it on my camera right now and I just love doing it. And I've almost reached 10,000 views. Please help that dream of mine come possible. And then I'll make a very special YouTube video showing how I make my YouTube videos. Really, it's a lot of fun making these videos and I cannot wait to do that. And as always, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, click right here and you can see more and watch more and subscribe.